Hi everyone, this is the Deep Parenting Podcast. My name is Brian Suleiman. And my name is Linda Ijafo Suleiman. And we have our friends here. Woo! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See, that's why they are here. This special Mother's Day episode of the Dew Parenting Podcast is brought to you by Cowbell. So creamy, so good. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another episode of the Dew Parenting Podcast. This episode is brought to you specifically and specially by Cowbell because it is the Mother's Day special. So creamy, so, so good. good. Why are you doing like this with the good? <laughs> Please, there's a minor, yeah. I'm sorry, sorry. Yes, speaking of minors, so this minor majors in adult behavior. Like, she's very mature, um, very grown up, very, she takes care of her mom. Um, So, in a sense, right, the person who gave birth is the daughter of the person who was giving birth to. Mm -hmm. We have our guests. Our guests on today's special episode are my very, very good friend. Well, like, we've... I was going to say old friends, but that will now, you know, now make you look like you're old. But you know, no, as old. a spring chicken that you are. Yes. <laughs> um, so we've we've known each other since from when I got into university. And, but I, she got in like a year or two after. Right? So you're older. Yeah. Yes, now, uh, now my younger sister be this. <laughs> Don't look at her daughter's daughter. You know? Um, <laughs> so Neka and I go way back. We went to ABU Zara together and um, we've been friends ever since. She's a producer. She's a super producer. And this lovely young lady is Ella, my niece. She's taller than me now. It's, it's annoying. Very. So Neka, please tell us a little bit more about yourself and then, you know, let's, let's get this going. <laughs> I'm just me. I'm Neka. I like everybody to go. I love my name so much. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I anywhere I go, I always like people calling me by my first name. It's even, you know, God on to my children call me by my first name a lot. But Wait, uh, they call you Neka? Yes. Is it, is it when they are scolding you for uh, being... Yeah, uh, when she's scolding me, she calls my full government <laughs> name. <laughs> And you are not wrong. She's the she's the adult in this relationship. She's the, she's the parent here. She will call my phone and say, did I not tell you to? Ah, so yes, please. So, um, producer, yes, bilingual. And um, yes. don't be don't be proud. Don't I be love proud. hugs. Yes, this is true. This is true she because squeeze the life in school now she's even she's even calmer about it. <laughs> I in school you just say hey, bro. Just on her, just on her. I'm just like okay, okay, dear, okay. <laughs> and um, basically, I just like I'm easygoing. I love the easy life. Anything that's gonna stress me. <laughs> Except when you're doing film, because I think you're addicted to pain. I think all filmmakers. Yes, when I'm doing film, ah, that's it. Totally, I'm a totally different person because I wear the stress on my face. Yes. But then people say I don't, but I feel like I wear the stress on my face and. I just love creating <laughs> <laughs> anything that will make people laugh, anything that will make people smile. That's, um, good. that's why I have all those lovey dovey poems on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's my alter ego, please. Yeah. Anything you read in those poems may or may not mm-hmm. be me. Be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is my offspring. <laughs> say offspring. So, Ella. <laughs> tell us, tell us, introduce yourself. Well, I'm Ella. Look at my million dollar smile. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's probably the best intro we've heard, self intro we've had on the show. <laughs> How old are you, Ella? I'm 14. 14, going on 40. Um, what's your favorite thing about being 14? Well, I'm in the middle, I'm still young, mm-hmm. but I'm getting older. Mm-hmm. So I can boss my mom around and I can still be a little girl. So I'm sure you are, you're, you're a little girl when you want to ask for, thi- for things. Of course. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, are you are you looking forward to getting older? Nah. <laughs> ah, I think that's the first teen, teenage girl that I've had. Because when I was 14, I was like, I can't wait to be 18. I can't wait to be. When I was 18, no, I can't wait to be 20. I can't wait to be. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Can we go back <laughs> to when I was 14? Because I was enjoying. I was having everything free. 
But you know those those videos that they share on Instagram where you see where people say, oh, I'm going home to visit my parents mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they pack, you mm-hmm. know me now. Yeah. I pack things and I come back. Mm-hmm. I am one of I. Yeah. She still <laughs> goes, when she goes to see Kion's grandparents, she, because they, they actually identify as Kion's grandparents more than they identify as her parents now. That's their new oh, wow. favorite. Yes. Yes. That's the, 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 so whenever she goes home, um, we always come back with soup, and then maybe vegetables from mom's kitchen. Mm-hmm. Like Chicken, this one, this one, your back things. I'm just like, meats. come on now, ah, bro. Why? Just pack it and be coming back. <laughs> like, but that's the life now. That's the life. That's what's. Uh, <laughs> you go shopping <laughs> at the parents. <laughs> that's what I do. I go grocery like, shopping at my parents. She's already telling me that she's not going to move out until. Larry Ra, let until, me tell until you. When? Until when? <laughs> See, as soon as this girl just tastes. You need wait now. Babe. Briefly, Let's hear from okay. Our sorry, mom. my bad, my bad. Until when? When do you want to move out? Like 20. 20. 25. Let me give you a piece of advice. Mm. <laughs> 25 is good. My friend, don't tell me that. So, so piece of advice. I moved out when I was 20. You're right? a guy. Yes, that's what that's exactly You're what I was supposed to say. Moved out when you were 18. 18 yes. If you let me see you. Key it's on, not okay. going to be the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but piece of it, every, this is why I tell all my young friends, right? Every opportunity I have, stay in your father's house until you cannot stay in your father's house. Do you understand? Rent is not cheap. Mm. Save that money. Mm. You see that freedom that you want? You get see, you get tired of that freedom. What's that line she was saying earlier? Living is not cheap. Living is not cheap. <laughs> my, see, people. I love that she knows that already. She got no, 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 just she did now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Living is not cheap. You understand? So as as long as you can live in your parents' homes, if they kick you out, shame on them. Mm. As, lo- <laughs> as long as out. as long as they are taking care of you and you're not being a nuisance, and you're contributing to the up to the running of the family of yep. the home, stay there as long as you want. Save that rent. You're going to need it later. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Or until you want to marry. Don't marry your parents' house, Sha. How do you mean don't marry in your parents' house? No, now like okay, sorry, for the guys, uh-huh. move out before you marry. For the women, because this one lived in her father's house until her wedding day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I just wanted to know. Okay, sorry. That's Nobody's okay. judging you for it, baby. It's fine. It's fine. It's one of the things I respect about you. Thank cause, you. Because you could have left home like 10 what? years earlier. <laughs> Did you? But wait, director, but you said you left home since now. You left home when you were like, what, 20, 22, 23? Hey, I'm not married, so what's wrong with we are working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on what? On her, we are, no, we can't. There's nothing we can do about what's wrong with her. But at least we can work on getting her married. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I spec, babes. Yeah, I spec, you know. Don't be shy. Moving on. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so guys, um, the reason why we have the lovely neck and, and Ella here Beautiful is because Ella. this episode is... Oh, by the way, happy Mother's Day. 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 Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, Neka. Happy Mother's Day to us. Yes, we are doing it. Yes. We are doing it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, and um, this episode is specially brought to you by Cowbell because they know the value of our mothers and um, we know the value of our mothers. Um, this one mothers me and I'm not complaining about it. So, yes, thank you, baby. You're welcome. Thank you for, on behalf of Kieran and I, I want to say that you're doing an amazing job and we're grateful for you. And, um, because of you, I don't get to say God when, you know, very often because, you know. God save you. God save me. God <laughs> save me. All right. Um, okay. Moving straight into it. Um, dun, dun, dun. Ella, I'll start with you first. Sure. What do you love about your mom? Oh, that's a lot. Oh. Um, well, she's very loving. She's just kind. And she inspires me. She make mom be a better person. <laughs> Wait, are you being real? Are you Make a shame you say you're blushing. <laughs> but I don't show it. I annoy the heck out of her. Yes, that's, that's why I'm shocked because <laughs> <laughs> this this little rascal never says this thing to me to my face. Of course. She just keep you, you know, She's humble. Always mm. keep you, you guessing. <laughs> He might keep me guessing. She should say it to my face so that I know that. Uh, no, dear. No, now, dear. you know, we have like this telepathic. <laughs> yeah. you get you. It. What do you love about being a mom? Hmm. Everything, to be honest. I I know I always, every now and then, I tell them about how they were born. Both of them, very different births and... Oh, yes. I would love to know <laughs> the, the, the birth story. <laughs> very different births and... Uh, just basically watching them 
grow. I think that's the mm. best part of being the mm. mom because I can remember them being babies mm. and small and helpless and pink and me not sure what color of skin <laughs> they will end up having at the end of the day. And then now I have Hi. this young lady that <laughs> I we call her the second mommy in the house mm. because Obviously. I can leave her to to run the house run when the house and yeah. take care of her brother. Because sometimes you're away from home for and like her brother is weeks. Gets mad. How old he, is her brother? He's eleven. Hmm. There's so many times he goes, look, you're not my mother. And she's I like, basically well, birthed him. I yeah. came out first. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> I'm just saying, I came out first. You, my dear, see, us firstborns need to stick together. Bam. Yes, own it. This, 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 this younger siblings they used to do anyhow, talk anyhow. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I really okay. want to know your um, your birth story. How? Yeah, you you know you said you mentioned that both of them were really different. Yeah. So they were very different. Like she was um, breech. You know, oh, because wow. I had the whole situation with fibroid at the time and there was no space for her to turn. But by some miracle, you know, she went into position just on the day of delivery. Um, the timely you know, princess. And then the, while, the matron, while the matron was saying, wait, 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 you know, you know that thing they do with mm-hmm. your first child? They're like, oh, wait. No, they didn't oh, have time to tell me, when wait, you're, wait, wait. When you're, child, when you're saying, look, this thing is coming, coming. and they'll be like, madam, wait, you're not the mm. first. This is how it is. And I'm like, see, she's the one pushing. I'm not the one pushing. <laughs> so that doesn't for, wait for anyone. <laughs> just for her, <laughs> for her, labor was like three hours. What? With her brother, labor was 13 hours. Jesus. You thought three hours was bad. You said, what? And then 30 hours, you're not <laughs> With her brother, it was Bruh. 13 hours. And with her brother, because they had been giving me EDD, um, December 25, December 25. Okay. That's why his name is Noel. Noel, yeah. You know, because I already picked the name. Then, just like a week to the day, I was like, mm, I'm not going to spend Christmas in the hospital. No, 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 no. I'm going to be that crazy person. So, I told my mother I was going for a walk. And so, I took a walk. I went to, to the, the hospital. hospital. pharmacy. <laughs> no, dear. I went and bought castor oil. Wow. What are you using castor oil? So I had researched. I know something you don't know. (laughs) I had researched that castor oil is a natural Mm -hmm. purgative. Yeah. And it's actually induces. So it purges you. And then the purging brings, oh, you know, triggers contractions. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you drink it? So I drank it there in the pharmacy. They didn't know you were pregnant. They knew. They they didn't know what I was buying it for. So, you know, and of course, you know, because they know that pregnant women always have that constipation Mm. thing and all. So I took a little bit more than, you know, that was was prescribed. And by the time I got home that evening, I started feeling like I really needed to sit on the white white throne for a while. (laughs) And then the contractions came. And my mother said, are you sure? It's not the date. This I said, mm-hmm. this was on the 22nd. I said, we need to go. We need to go. They thought I was joking. By that night, uh, the water was, was ready to oh, break and everything. And so I had him on the 23rd. And by 24th, <clears throat> the nurses were still saying, oh, this, that, that, that. Before they finished their word round and came back, I powdered my face. I said, look at my face. Does it look like the face of somebody that wants to sleep here? I'm ready to go home. <laughs> <laughs> and they discharged me. <laughs> they were like, okay, Pretty you quickness. can't do. So I didn't spend Christmas in hospital. <laughs> okay. A determined woman. Yes, Very please. determined. What? I love it. I didn't know I didn't know that thing about castor oil. You should talk yeah. to me more often about the things that you want to learn. Maybe I talk to you. No, I'm just saying that why, I knew this. Because I, I researched. Yes, baby. Why do you know about so, this? Okay, thing? wait. Okay, so there was this time when I was when I was in I was in my in, I was in my in my third trimester. Yeah. Are you and right? then, oh, did, is that what you said? That's what you want to hear now. No. I just, you know, did my research. Research. I don't understand. How did you research get to be researching? Chuka, <laughs> what? No, so so here's the thing. Hey, I can't oh, believe it. Oh, by the way, Chuka is our, our, oh. our executive so, producer and my husband's business partner. So he's here. So Chuka is around and he's stressing my life. He does his job. And so what had happened was. Ah, when he starts with what had happened was. So the thing is. Wow. wow. <laughs> no, it was just, it was, I, you know how you just, you're reading up on stuff or you're watching videos on YouTube and then it just, it is a rabbit hole, you just fall into it and then. Why is it the videos you are watching? No, it was at the time when we were pregnant. You understand? So I was just generally. Yes, use me. 
<laughs> that's, what, what did you just say, babe? There's a minor here. Oh, that's I'm sorry. <laughs> moving on, moving on. <laughs> I was not counting how many misses. Now you have to remember that there's a minor for this. Count. So, <laughs> this counts one. This counts one. Let's see how many times. Hey, babe, do you know that my fondest memory of Cowbell is how excited we used to be whenever my mom would come home with a new tin? And she would let us scoop some and just consume it however we wanted. Oh, I remember the large spoon we used to use to scoop milk into our cups every morning and sometimes into our mouth. <laughs> and the evaporated cowbell milk that would add to our pap. Okay, well, we call it Akamusha in the north. Anyways, we can go on and on, but cowbell is loaded with vitamin B9 and Vita Rich, which promotes proper brain development and good nutrition. Yep, and add cowbell to your daily nutrition and enjoy the creamy goodness of cowbell. So creamy. creamy. So good. <laughs> I like the way I said that. So good. I know. <laughs> okay, so so obviously the both of you are like super close. And you know, everybody that is seeing this or listening to this can tell that there's love, there's there's friendship. So how does the discipline and there's come fighting. in? Fighting. Yes. So how do you discipline her when she has you know fallen short of the glory? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> You look like it's, it's one of the toughest things that you it's, have to do. It's one of the toughest things I have to do mm-hmm. because it's like it's like falling out with your friend mm. or not agreeing with your friend. Mm-hmm. So it's it's we don't even, I can't even tell how it started, mm. but whenever we have any of those disagreements that's really really major, mm-hmm. we write each other notes. If I one happened like what two days ago, yeah. And then I didn't know how to tell her how upset she had made me. <laughs> and so I wrote her a four page. Four! <laughs> I was on my bed and I was reading it and I was like, oh wow, so mommy feels like this. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's hard. But then it's, it's funny that when we're upset with each other, we can't see it yeah. because we have very deep conversations. Mm. Like we talk about everything from finances to men to, you know, fashion. relationship to fashion to social. Ah, she yes. dresses me up. I have zero fashion sense. I, I Give me Crocs and jeans and a t-shirt. In fact, today she said, you are not wearing black. <laughs> Production. Because Production I would have worn black t-shirt and jeans <laughs> and crops. I showed up here. But he said, no, 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 that is no, you're not going to pop, whatever that means. You know, I've still not gotten my payment, by the way. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Right? You collect those coins, what dear. This? Why she believe me for everything? I mean, that's, I paid the that's bills. Why already. She's your daughter. Don't worry. Mm. Don't yeah. see. <laughs> see. <laughs> Did she make her to oh wow. Is that food on your table? Uh-huh. 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 Now that I put it that way. <laughs> so yeah, but there's times so actually that I, I you know I scold and mm. everything. And it's funny sometimes when her brother does something wrong and she's scolding him, and I'm like, I actually sound that way. The, the way she just yelled his name, mm-hmm. like she just called his full name. No way. It terrifies that kids. So mirror the, yes, oh my mirror she sounds exactly like me when I'm upset and raising my voice. And I'm like, okay, okay, then that is like, <laughs> <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <a problem. laughs> But who who is easier to to no, no, no. To, who is easier to score? What I say? Which one of them gives you less heart palpitations when you have to have a serious, like, okay, you've done wrong conversation? Which is easier to Obviously talk to. Me. Oh, for real? Man like Noel. You and I, I said, man, 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 you and I will have a conversation, young He's man. He's a boy. Yes, yeah, so, but, you know but because, ah. Uh, yes, young man, you and I have to have a conversation because you can't be stressing my sister like this. Do you understand? Okay, good talk, good talk. Right. So she's easier to actually talk to because Noel, ah. And why see, is that? Is that because she's a girl? He just has this expression that he, he plasters on his face and he just goes, why? <laughs> he goes, why? Yes, that why. It's like a dog I caught. This, like, you know, and your response to that why. Is, that's the, that's the, is the crux of the matter. Yeah, very well worded. Mm-hmm. Or else you have lost that argument from like. Mm-mm. He would turn it back on you. Yes. He would just say one wrong thing. He was like, oh, that, 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 that oh, oh my God. <laughs> So do you guys tag team him sometimes? Nah. When he does something, mommy doesn't trust herself. It's me. <laughs> I said the smile on her face when she said it's me. <laughs> oh, I love 
love it so much. I love it so much. And there's so many times that he does something and I'll just go to her room. I'll huffing and puffing. Instead of me to huff and puff to Noel, I'll huff and puff to her. See, go and tell your brother. This, 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 this. You know, I'll be on I my own with my headphones. So my mom just come and I'm like, oh, I'm, should I go and stress this boy now or later? This <laughs> guy <laughs> let him stew for a bit. So then my mom, then I'll shout his name, Noel. And I'll be on my, like a, my bed is a bunk. I'll be on my top bunk and I'll be like, oh, I need something. <laughs> on this floor. <laughs> Wait, so yes, yeah. <laughs> you will be the one that will come and get the stuff. Yes. Um, and he just look at me like, why couldn't you do this? <laughs> <laughs> and the fight begins, but in the end, we love each other. <laughs> he understands. Okay, um, like my mom, whenever she does something or, you know, parents do this thing that they do something to you and when they find out that they are wrong, they never apologize. Mm. Oh, I always apologize. Does she always apologize? apologize. Mostly. <laughs> but I apologize a lot to you guys. Like when, when I see that you actually made sense. Yeah? <laughs> she loves <love> it. <laughs> Mostly. Tell her this is a free speech. You can tell her anything you want to tell her now. Not the way she feel too until I reach house. Yeah. I don't feel do anything. <laughs> ah, to <till> reach house. <laughs> no, but she, mostly she apologizes. Yes. Okay. And then that means you're, you're getting it better than most of us did growing up because yeah. it took my mother until she was probably in her 50s and myself and my siblings were already adults before she got to that point where she understood the importance of, you know, apologizing for making, you know, for making mistakes yeah, or for getting it wrong. Say. I'm sorry. Yes, actually, no, because you have you eaten? Come and eat. What do you want to eat? No, mama, you will say that you are sorry yeah. that you didn't wait to understand what happened before you raised your voice. <laughs> and then she would not be like, I'm sorry. I should have waited. It would, the first time she said that to me, I was shocked. Hmm. I was like, this is a true man show. Where are the cameras? I, I thought know, something all, was wrong. All of them in that generation. Bro. Saying sorry, owning up to their feelings. Um, and and um, getting them to say, I love you too. Love you. No, no, just that screaming no, like worms. <laughs> For oh, me, no, my dad, it was easy for my dad to say, I love you. Yeah. My dad could tell me, till now, he still yeah. tells me, oh, I love you. I he love tells you. me I love you yeah. more than he tells you these days. Oh, wow. Yeah. Every time I call my father-in-law, daddy always says, I love you, my son. I'm like, I love you too, daddy. Wow. And then, yeah. But you guys, that doesn't happen every time you make a call, do you? Oh, my goodness. He paid them! As I was saying, my mom, on the other hand, um, it took her until I had her grandson. Yes. To tell me I love you. Because mm. like, you finally wow. gave her something that she was happy. No, she show, she would rather show it yeah, than sure. say. That's my yeah, mom. Yeah, all like for both my parents, I think they would rather show than actually say it. Mm. And ah, that's for you. apology part. Mm -hmm. No, no, it was it's it's they don't apologize for our generation. We like words. We like being spoken to. We like words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. But they will never ever say it. Instead, they will my mom will probably come home and buy, maybe I've been saying I'm craving mm. X, Y, Z. And she'll come, she'll say, mm, go and tell your mother that I bought. <laughs> go, and tell, go and show your mother this thing that I bought too. This is, uh, just say sorry. sorry. <laughs> like it's cheaper. Yes. <laughs> it's cost less. An apology actually costs <laughs> way less. So are you a middleman for your grandma and your mom? All the time? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, you stay out of it. <laughs> no, no, no. They do their thing. Like <laughs> 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 See, the look, see the look on the face. See the look on Zin's face. See this like. <laughs> Life is short. Yes. So you let them do their thing. Yes. Okay, so are you want to um, apologize to your mom when you do something wrong? Not, yeah, not mostly, under duress. Like, mostly. That's, that's, you see? Mm -hmm. Mostly. Mm -hmm. I have to be honest. Mostly. <laughs> because sometimes I always feel like I'm right and she'll feel like she's right too. So I feel like I'm not doing anything wrong. The sorry will not come out. <laughs> While we're on this matter of apologies, it is also very, very difficult to get two of them to apologize to each other. Oh. You mean her brother and her? Yes. <laughs> That one is a, that is apology, a normal something. Even when they eventually say the apology, it doesn't pass the front of that. It's like, it's no mm, down. Kind of, so I'm sorry. Nothing. 
Or they just want to say sorry. Say sorry because mommy is looking at me with bad eye. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is that <laughs> to make him feel be angry about it. Sorry, one more time, 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 and I'll smile. Oh, I'm so sorry. No help. <laughs> and he'll smile. I'm like, oh, I love you too, sister. The one uh-huh. just turns like this. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> oh, now you're confessing to your mother here. <laughs> I, I think she knew already. <laughs> I'm begging people should not kill me. Neka, neka, what's the most difficult thing about being about motherhood for you uh, losing yourself mm. losing yourself because sure. you 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 never think of yourself first um self love is something that has to be intentionally intentional mm. like because you lose yourself you are thinking you 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 get some money, you do something. But decisions you make, you have to make decisions around them. You can't just up and go. Um, my friends will say, oh, we can't, you now, we cannot just call you to come out. No, 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 no. I can, <laughs> but, but I need to put, put some, some certain yeah. things into consideration. But isn't that easier now that they are grown up? <laughs> so was- here's the thing with with every stage in your child's life, the worry, changes. I don't know what to call it, but let's say the mm. worry meter mm. kind of changes. Mm. So it's your worry is on a different level mm. at this time. Like maybe when they were younger, I would have been worrying how they eat. Mm. Now she can cook, he can cook as mm. well. You know, I don't, I'm not worried about that aspect, but I'll be worrying about leaving them for too long. Mm. Like I can't leave them alone and probably spend the night somewhere else, you know. Just that kind of stuff. Because Nora likes company. You don't, may not want to admit it, but he likes being around people. And sometimes I just like to be by myself. So fair, fair. If you don't class, so then if he you come if and you disturb me in a way, oh, he will try to annoy me, but I know that deep down it's because he wants company. <laughs> When we were leaving the house today, it was just so funny. I wish I had recorded it. This same Noel that last night was totally upset with his sister. He he walked with us downstairs and he was like, I don't know. It's just so annoying that she's so beautiful. It's just so annoying <laughs> that she's so fine. Like, no, Ross, this one my just girl. tell your sister she's fine. I don't know why you're fine. fine today. I don't like it. <laughs> he was just complaining and knocking, 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 knocking all the way to the gate. Like, just... <laughs> just say you. that you look... Yes. It's, it's, it's the sibling thing. It's the sibling thing. What my si- Go on. No, your sibling, say Ah, uh, <laughs> There's a minor here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. In fact, I'll be keeping count on your behalf. So my siblings and I, so for, for, for the longest time when we were kids, my sister and I didn't used to get along, right? She was, she used to have mood swings. Um, and she was, she was like, she is like the family egg, right? So I was very protective of her, but she used to annoy me every opportunity she got. <laughs> So, so I understand that dynamic because there are times when, you know, even when we started to grow up and we became teenagers and everything, and she's just looking so, you know, lovely and everything. I'll just say, even till now, you know how there's this thing we do where, because she, she came over to spend some time with us before she goes back to work. And I was getting ready for work and then I came out of the room, I was going downstairs and then she bumped into me on the staircase and she's like, ah, she just basically, and I'm like, oh, thanks. You know, I was like, What's going on then? I know we have to explain to her that that's how we pay each other compliments. This gang, oh my God, you smell horrible. Like that means wherever that <laughs> bottle is, yes. I'm going to find it and use it or steal it. So it's just the language and the way that siblings develop. You understand? But he will, he would literally, you know, punch someone in the throat because of you mm. in public. Yeah. You understand? But at home, I beg, I just that ugly sister that he has. It's just the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the way it is. And I'm glad that you understand it. No, but understand I don't him. even apologize. Like, well, we'll be talking and we'll be understanding each other so well. We'll be talking, talking. Then he'll just say one thing and just tick me off and then we'll fight. <laughs> <laughs> then an hour later, I want to come and annoy him because I'm You'll Ella. Be. I just, <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> and then we'll talk again. Then he'll make us angry. Then we'll come back together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's boys for you. So what's the what's the biggest disagreement that the both of you have, have had? If you don't mind sharing. Ah, what's biggest the biggest disagreement? disagreement? Oh, them are very petty, you know? <laughs> wow, so really, she said they are very... So what's the pettiest, pettiest one? 
What's the one that anytime you think about how petty dress choices, uh-huh. dressing choices? I think that's where we disagree the most. Me and Noah, or you and me Noah. and you. No, we're talking about both of you. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> Uh, Dress of what to wear. That's where we disagree the most. Like, do something I'm comfortable with, but mom said it's too casual. You yes, won't do too so much. It's just <sighs> having put on a shirt and something, and I've gone. There's so what, she's okay, the one that wants to dress, dress me like up. Like your mom did. No, she wants to dress me up. But yes, she but she doesn't want. She doesn't want. Yeah, I guess. We don't have the same kind of clothes, and we don't have the same kind of like styles. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're just. <laughs> Like if I have a girl, is this what I'm going to go through? Shady, yes. as, baby, look at your future. This is it. This is it. And she doesn't like pink. She doesn't like all those girly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like that I for you. Like or pink. makeup. Oh. <laughs> you for, don't like makeup. No. For now, that's for great. Now. Yeah. For now. For now, that's great. That's great. Take your time. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you you come round. <laughs> and also, oh, then I like annoying her. I love her. Maybe I'll let her talk about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yesterday, I was on my own, on my bed, just with my headphones. Mom just came. Boom. I threw my headphones off. <laughs> no, she threw my plushies off my bed. <laughs> wow. So yes, I do that a lot. When when she has when she's reading. Why are you reading for three hours straight when it's not an exam? It's a fiction novel. You mm-hmm. can't pay me attention. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't like it. So anytime she has read for too long, and I've asked Noel, I asked Noel once, where's Ella? She says she's reading. Where's Ella? Hmm, she has done that tent on her bed. She's reading. Because there's a way she makes a tent with clothes on her bed. So you know she's there <laughs> as she's reading. <laughs> Auntie Fifi, well done. You are the cause of yes, this. Yes, the book she gave me, I've almost finished. I'm like on the sixth one. Like, Shout out Fifi. Fifi, yes. you are the cause of this. <laughs> so she'll be there reading all these e-books that Fifi gave her, lost in some world. The, and then, so I'll just I'll just take, you know, stuff in her, you know, scatter things from cartons and everything, you know, all over her room. And, and she'll be like, mommy, mommy, I say, when you're not paying me attention, huh? so you have to take your eyes off those books. So when you finish arranging, you come to talk to me. Then the annoying thing, she now comes to talk to me and she goes, you know, this book now, somebody actually needs to die for this story to move forward. And I'm like, yes. so the conversation I wanted you to come and have it. Then she'll be like, oh, you know, the fire eaters and the disaster. This is not what I want to talk about. This is- so let me ask you a question. Where does she get this from? Hmm. I have a mirror somewhere if you, if you want, you know. Um, yeah, okay. Moving on. <laughs> I cannot deny. <laughs> Neither can I confirm. Exactly. I it is you, dear. It is you. Have you ever tried reading any of the books that she seems? <laughs> I re- at her age, ah. I read all of those and even worse. And I still read up till now. Up yeah, till so, now. So, so yeah. Yeah, but some of the genres I read are not the kind of shit that she reads. She okay, likes so. all these really... Um, what are these genres like? All these um, mythical, mythical, and period dark. pieces. It's too yeah, much she's for me. No, Greek she's at that age now. Greek philosophy. It's that's, too... But that's the age where they, you know, angst and all of that. And um, there's this thing we used to call it before. What do you call that thing where they have these dark um, makeup? What do you call emo. them? Gothic. 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 Yeah, Gothic. and emo. Yeah. So she's at that stage where, you know, that's what they really want to consume. Mm? See her boots now. Her boots. Yeah, yes. she has these boots that are like, you know, like four or five inches Those are with the soles. Boots. Well, it's working. You know, so she's at that <laughs> stage. You know, just, I mean, she's not doing the deep dark eyeliner and the, no, no, you know. No. I'm not even allowed. I'm, <laughs> just, I'm not even allowed. If you were allowed, so, would you want to do it? Because no. you already mentioned you don't like makeup. No. So I'm glad that, you know, you, so obviously you, as much as you guys are super close and friendly with each other and all of that, there's obviously the law that Neck has laid down that there's some things that you're not allowed. And, you know, kudos to you that you actually have that at the back of your mind when you're making certain decisions. So that means both of you are doing your jobs pretty well. Yes, you're doing and the then money, there's the eye the language too. Girl. Uh, hmm. <laughs> every mother is fluent in it. Oh. Uh, so sometimes I wonder about- Do you understand about, the eye language? Yes, I do, but I can't say the same for my brother. <laughs> no, he, no, trust me, he understands it. He just decides not no, no, to no, pay no, attention no, to- No, 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 no,
<laughs> Noel under the bus. <laughs> yes. Because Noel is not here to defend himself. <laughs> Sometimes he say something. I know mommy is around. I know that oh mommy will not agree. Then I'll give him eye. And he's still all with his mom doing. Oh no. So my my question is, you know, what are the things that you guys bond over? Cooking. Oh, all for three real? of us. All three of us. Even Noel. Yes. Yeah. That's impressive. Noel loves being in the kitchen. He's yeah, been- go Noel. Finally, I something for Noel. Say- <laughs> no, I have to say it. I have to say no, that. No, you're not going to let a good sous chef. Yeah, I was about to say that he's the best sous chef ever. You know, getting ingredients, helping you prep, you know, standing you by. When did you start? Tasting the food. When did you start taking them into the kitchen and teaching them? That really early. So that means you're doing the right thing with you. I am. Yeah. Really early. I think maybe yes. like... Oh, he well, he likes to, he likes to come me. sit on the counter. I have a counter. video of him whisking yeah. eggs for me and we're like... Ooh. <laughs> 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 I'm still going to go that three. Like three, like three or four <laughs> for both of them. Yeah. Really, that's well, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. I got forced into the kitchen when I was about eight. Mm. As, no, as no, the I oldest. Cooking. But as soon as my sister learned how to cook, <laughs> I resigned. <laughs> I, I retired for life. It's actually even a struggle sometimes when he's like, oh no, I want to cook my own stuff. Oh no, I want to cook my own stuff. What, what stuff does he cook? What does he make for himself? And he, has different things. he has different things. He makes sauces for himself. He's but very great at frying egg. He makes fantastic French toast. Uh, mm. uh, come on. And he's really great with pancakes as well. Really, really great with pancakes. <laughs> what is my I didn't I did I did I was sorry. I was distracting people. I was just thinking from when the bride is watching this, they will say, why did they say all oh, this? <laughs> <is that? laughs> <laughs> actually, <laughs> because that actually that's true. Those are all things that you can make with cowbell. Yeah. Oh, say, come on, plug in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no one is a sweet tooth. He likes sweet things. Mamos, I like spicy things. Okay, so what like the, pepper. Like pepper. Pepper. Mm. I'm more pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so so do you guys have like a roster for okay, this mm. th- today this person is making lunch? Or? Nah, we just go with the flow. Okay, so whoever is up for it or whoever is yep. yes. in the mood. So yeah. how often do you get to cook now? Now that you have to to put like an open restaurant in your house? Oh no, mm. my, my mom still works. Very much. Did She's you? very dedicated. <laughs> She's very dedicated. <laughs> almost every day. At least once. That's awesome. So, so yeah. apart from cooking that, what else do you bond over? 